I was brainwashed as a kid. Uh, my mom's side of the family all loved Carolina. It was all Carolina all the time. I recently asked my mom, did, did we have anybody that went there? No, no, it's just what it was. And so it, I didn't realize it because I was grown up in it. I had to get out of it. And once I got out of it and looked around like, oh, the people who I like, the people who are more like me are the ones that go to NC State. You see, the people who root for Carolina, they could never get in that school to begin with. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get the blind devotion to a university that rejects you. You know, NC State will give you a chance. Example, me, lifelong adult education. They gave me a shot. So there and, you go. Uh, I'm mostly a football guy. Football is my number one sport. I played football in high school. I actually played flag football for NC State, and we won the whole championship at NC State and was invited to go to uh, New Orleans to represent NC State. So I love football. Uh, basketball, when I was there, yes, I would go to the games. I actually saw Jimmy V gave his last speech in Reynolds Coliseum uh, when we played Carolina. Then we got beat. Uh, but I was there. Um, been to many basketball games in Reynolds, not so much the newer uh, stadium. But when I was in California, it was just, it was gone, you know. I always rooted for us, but I didn't really keep up with it, didn't watch it. Um, what bugs me the most, you know, we have probably the least fan base of the three, Duke, Chapel Hill, NC State. There are Carolina fans everywhere. And to me, the ones who talk the most trash are the ones that didn't even go to the school. And so it would bother me. I would be out in public somewhere in Hickory with an NC State hat on. And someone would come up to go, boo, NC State. Y'all, y'all are horrible, man. You should root for Carolina. And then I go, oh, you went to Carolina. When would you graduate? They go, oh, I didn't go there. I go, I know. I know you didn't because you're a stupid person. I went to NC State and I graduated. So I've just recently came up with a whole rules and regulations for how to root in college athletics, along with a ranking system of fans. And I just posted that, and I want people to really adhere to it. I got this agent, and he sent me on auditions. And one of the auditions he sent me on was for a Dodge Ram truck commercial. And uh, and these were his words. He called me up and said, I have an audition for you today. Um, you're going to be playing white trash. And I was like, oh, okay. I know what that is. And so I go down there dressed as white trash, you know. And that's how it works. You're supposed to dress as to what they're looking for. So it's easy for them to see it. You know, they don't want to have mm -hmm. to imagine it. So I put on this. I used to work at a Goodyear. I had a nasty uh, Goodyear outfit. It had oil stains on it and all this stuff. And put a dip in my mouth. And I go down there and there, there's a table in the waiting room. There's like, I don't know, 10 other dudes auditioning for this commercial at that hour. And there's a table there with the scripts on it. So you pick up a script and you read it. All it said was that thing got a hemi. I was like, okay. And uh, another guy said, how do you, what's that last word? Is it hemi? Some other guy is like, no, oh, yeah, yeah, it's hemi. Um, and I just went in there and I sat down in this aluminum chair in front of a casting director and ad agency people. And they said, say the line. And I just said, that thing got a hemi. And they started laughing. And before I know it, I'm in another audition. And before I know it, it turned into a whole campaign. So I didn't know what it was going to turn into. I knew it would be some money. I didn't know it was going to be that successful. And neither did they, by the way. Otherwise, they would have locked me down to a long contract. They paid me each and every time. And because I have a good agent, the money went up every time. Uh, also, my stand-up career was evolving at the same time. So it was two things happening at once, building on the other one, you know, because I would use the Hemi guy. Like, oh, John Reeves performing at the Improv, the Hemi guy. Like, oh, okay, I think I've seen that guy. 